Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin from tizish.com and on this video tutorial I'm going to explain to you what no follow links are and what do follow links are and how to find them and then how to create them. So, first of all, let's go off let's begin with what exactly is a no follow link, all right? Um, I'm going to open up this page here just for now, but just basically here's what a no follow link is. A no follow link is just any link that you put on a website so for example let's just go to a demo one here it's any link you put on a website that you're telling Google not to give linking credit to and here's an here's an example right let's pretend you had two links right here's here we have an example blog post all I have is two links here right let's pretend that for some reason for whatever reason not some reason just there's many reasons but for whatever reason you uh, let's say you had a link here that went to Google and you had a link here that went to um, John Doe's website com and let's just pretend for some reason you don't want this article your website and this article to give credit meaning you don't want to pass link juice you don't want to share credit you don't want to you don't really trust this link or whatever the case is if you don't want to share credit you have to make it what's called no follow and that's a special code you put into your URLs that tells Google do not follow this link which basically doesn't give you or whosoever website the linking credit even though it's a physical link alright here's the actual examples of it alright here's what I want you to do first though go to type the following in Google you need this tool it's a Firefox tool it's called search status it's a Firefox tool so get the Firefox browser and find this tool I, I have the link with this tutorial so you can download it and install it and what that's gonna do basically is the following this is going to end up giving you a special little tool that looks like the following on your browser. Ignore all these windows. These are all just tabs I have randomly open during this tutorial. But basically, see this little section here. It's a it's this is that search status tool. This is the tool you see here. All right. Now this tool is I'm telling you to download this tool so you can find so you can see which links on a website have no follow and which ones are just regular. And by the way, the word do follow that just basically means a link that has is no longer no follow so just keep it simple a regular link so no follow links are links that don't get credit from Google do follow links are basically regular links just like anything else so do follow shouldn't even be a word it's just basically exists just to be the opposite of no follow but basically do follow is considered a regular link alright but back to this point about search status here you have your tool and uh, here's what you could do with it when you when you right click on this button and this is after you install this for Firefox when you right click on this button you have an option that says highlight no follow links and when you do that what's gonna happen is the following let's go to a website here's Trulia for example right right now we see the links that are all normal when I right click and I put highlight no follow links you notice how some of many of them turn purple or I'm sorry pink Basically, what this is saying is these links in the pink, Trulia.com has set to not follow these links. Meaning, if I'm Google's, if my mouse is Google's crawler, when I come here, I'm not following that. I'm not going to go to this link. I'm basically ignoring all of those links as Google, as Google crawls them because they have a special code on them. Okay, so uh, as you can tell, by the way, on 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 profiles on Trulia the website links are followed so check out my other tutorial where I talk about how to use your keywords on your website links here because this is a great thing that's a side note but anyhow continue on this no follow we now understand what no follow is let's now look at some more examples let's go to Zillow's blog and here we are on Zillow I'm gonna turn on the no follow I wanna turn on highlight no follow that way I could see what links and as we could see we start seeing things starting to come about and now here we go you see these Look at the links here. These are basically no followed, which means the comments here, none of these links, Google follows. All right. So basically, they. Uh, by the way, Zillow just did this recently. Um, uh, uh, no, no more than a week ago, these were followed. These were regular links. So let's now go to another one that is regular. And uh, this is in blog commenting. Let's go to one more that is regular I believe tech savvy agent yeah tech savvy agent their links are regular so let's go to no follow let's highlight no follow and as you can see on his site 
nothing is showing up and you as you can see here the links here are followed which means they're regular you know they're regular because if they weren't then they would have this yell this purple this pink uh, background on them so here's the point why does this matter and before I show you how to actually create your own nofollow link here's why it matters uh, for link building if you're gonna be doing link building you want to be link building on websites that give you a link back to your it's back to your site so as you can see here these are 12 comments on Google's blog this is I have another tutorial by the way on backlinking so check that one out where I reference this so basically everyone here that's doing links they are not getting the credit for them although they put a link to their website they're not getting the credit for them because Google um, Zillow is no following them it's telling Google not to follow them so what you should be doing is instead of instead of spending a lot of time if your if your intention is link building by getting backlinks from blog comments then do it on blogs that don't have the no follow tag that are basically do follow which is basically normal okay so for example techsavvyagent.com their blog is just regular they anybody that leaves a comment gets a backlink to their website so basically you just get links to your site like like normal from from commenting on theirs all right. Now, that's what you want to be spending your time on if your goal is backlinking through blog comments. You don't want to spend your time doing loads of comments on sites that sites like this. For I mean, this is a great site to read and engage with. Period. But let's say if your goal is link building, and um, you want to, you think by commenting here you're going to get link credit. Understand that you're not because this is telling you this is no follow. Okay. So the whole point is just install this tool. And when you go before you comment on any site, just turn it on to see if you have anything that's followed. If you could, um, if this site allows you to leave a link that is followed, which is regular. If it has the no follow tag, you'll see this pink box. And uh, I would recommend that I would tell you that that tag means that the this pink box means you're not getting linking credit. So it's pointless to do any blog commenting for link juice per se, backlinking if it's no follow. All right. So, with that all being said, now let me show you how to manually add your own, your own um, no follow tags. Okay. So here we are on a on a on the site, right? Now here we are. We have two links. Let's say we want to make these. Now we want to make one of them a no follow link. Here's what you have to do. See these? This is a regular link up here. It's a regular do follow link. Now, if we want to make this one no follow, here's what we have to do. We have to click, we have to hit a space after this quotation and do it exactly as you see it here. Type in rel equals quotation no follow, and then another quotation. So now, when I preview this, what's going to happen is this code is not going to be followed by Google, while this one is because this is just regular. By default, Google follows all links unless you specifically tell them not to. Here's how you do, here, this is how you specifically tell them not to. You have to add this little extra snippet into a link coding. All right, so basically for you, if you want to happen to no follow a link, which I don't really recommend you do that. I mean, there's, there's no purpose for you to do it. The main purpose is really if you're gonna be doing blog comments, like here, if you're doing blog commenting for the sake of building backlinks, then understand no follow links um, are a waste of your time. So going to site like this one for backlinks would be pointless, but going uh, but going to your Trulia profile and getting your website here that's not pointless, and neither is going to Tech Savvy Agent site that's not pointless. And same thing with Tizish. If you go to Tizish.com, if you go to Tizish.com and leave any comments on any of our postings here, they're also no followed. Oh, I'm sorry, do followed, which means you get linking credit, you get a backlink to them. So anyhow. Um, I hope this all makes sense. I think it does. The main nugget I want you to get from this is download that tool. Okay. Um, if you need to remember how to do this, just go ahead and press pause on here. And remember, this is the exact code you want to take. But all you would do is replace the URL you want here. But to have no follow, here's the code. Press pause and just write it down. Now, the main thing I want you to get from this, though, download this tool called Search Status from Firefox, and then learn how to use it by right-clicking and highlighting no follow links. All right. Now remember, this is effective for building backlinks through blogging. You want to you want to put backlinks on blogs. You want to put links on blogs like uh, like you saw like you saw in the examples I showed you. 
that are followed. Okay, that's the main goal behind this whole tutorial. All right, and uh, by the way, tizish.com is a followed blog. All right, meaning if you leave a comment, you do get a followed link. So definitely go to tizish.com, come to our articles, leave a comment, and you'll get followed on them. All right, so that's everything. If you have any questions, ask away on facebook.com forward slash tizish, and I'll be more than happy to help you. If you took any value from this, then please like it comment on it or share it. Either way, it works. All right. Well, that's everything. Let me know if you have questions. Take care.